for Sundays are just a nightmare. It gets to about five o'clock and songs of praise, I hate, absolutely hate songs of praise, um, comes on and I just think that's it, the weekend's over, I've done nothing and normally I reach for the, my phone and text you know, at least five of my friends and say, you know, what are you doing? You know, now being um, Juliet and one daughter, you know, we haven't got this Sunday lunch family thing. So what did you have for last Sunday lunch? What did you eat? Tuna sandwich. For Sunday lunch? For Sunday lunch. Juliet. From a teenager up to mid-twenties, yeah. I made dinner, uh -huh. proper dinner. Um, then I got married to Master Chef, who took over the kitchen for ten years. Really? And, and didn't let me in. Oh, really? Um, and then when we divorced, couldn't remember what to do. So I've got your husband. Your ex-husband to blame for this one, yeah? Well, I'm going to pick all these Absolutely. bollocks. Absolutely. <laughs> inside here. That's it, inside <laughs> your cupboard. <clears throat> What's he doing in there? Uh, what is he doing in there? Well, well, <laughs> it, was, it was saving me buying a takeaway. Jerk seasonings. Uh, we should put that one next to him. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that sits there nice and comfortably. I like the idea of your friends coming round. I like the idea of something that they can share. They can go in the middle of the table and they can all dive in. Yeah, that's perfect. Paella. In terms of, you know, using... But that involves rice. Rice and chicken. Yeah. What's wrong with rice? Well, it's cooking it. Can't you make disasters with uh, rice? Yeah, no, no, no. But, I mean, with the stock, water, in fact, and things like chorizo and saffron, it cooks itself. 300 grams of squid and 300 grams of prawns, please. Thank you. What did you have for Sunday lunch last week? Uh, roast chicken, I think. How many was at the table Sunday lunch? Wow, what is that? Ten. There you go, see? Pyla, when was the last time you ate one? Never. Okay, Cerezo. Yeah, just smell that. Mm. Nice. Spicy. And it actually flavours the rice as well at the same time. Good. Get hold of the chilies. Why are you taking the seeds out? Um, well, um, they are really hot, and I want to use the sort of the whole chilli rather than the seeds. Just slice it down like that. And the nice thing about sweating the chorizo down oh. with the onions... Oh, what was that? Chilli. Let's see. That nice romantic moment when you're not crying over a phone bill, you're crying over a paella. <laughs> I'm using chicken, but you can also make this with fish or rabbit. Adding sherry gives it a deeper flavour. Once that's evaporated, what I want you to do is pour the rice in. And this is where you always get a little bit confused, isn't yes. it? Sprinkle the piler, mix it all in. I want to get that rice nicely coloured. OK. There you go. So next I want you to do is to get the saffron. What does this do? The saffron gives it an amazing colour and gives it a really nice flavour as well. Uh-huh. And to finish off, prawns, squid and clams. So far, so good? So far, yeah? understood. Come on, you're doing good. Mm. A little bit peppery there at the back. <clears throat> the tomatoes will bring that down. And there we are, look, piler fit for a king. And then, my dear lady, we're ready to roll. <laughs> Ladies! Oh, yes! Look, can I just say, it's been a long time since I sat around a table like this. But ladies, yeah, I'm starting to feel slightly intimidated. <laughs> I'm going to ban texts in. OK? No more taxis on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. no, 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 because you don't need to taxi. You're not going to be that frustrated because you're all going to be here. Yeah. Oh, high yellow rice. rice. High yellow rice. Mm -hmm. Is that...? Yeah. Um, it's like a risotto rice. Oh. However, if you can't find pile of rice, then choose the long grain. So, oh, dear. <laughs> uh, madam, you have to promise me something today, yeah? That... Name your price. ...once a week, <laughs> yes, that you'll start cooking something from scratch. From scratch. Good girl. I'm yes. going to make a decision to go shopping with my list, yep. and I'm going to motor around that supermarket, yep. avoiding all the pre-packed, pre-cooked, pre-ready-made... Distractions. And I'm definitely, definitely going to cook. Good. Cook the aubergines with fresh tomato, mix them with onion and cumin, and then puree. Mmm. Mmm.